Hello. Let's talk about one of the most important roles of an API program in Agile, the API product owner. In Agile, the product owner is a central role within the team and the program. From defining the product to guiding the API team during review of finished work, everything should be in the view of the API product owner. A great Venn diagram, courtesy of Henrik Nieberg, positions the product owner role in the middle of three responsibilities. Build the right thing, build the thing right, and build it fast. The Scrum definition of product owner translates very well in the API context. The API product owner is a key leadership role when it comes to how API products should be produced and how it is being consumed upstream in the digital value chain. The product owner needs to have a connected and empathic relationship with developers, experienced designers, and business leads that use the API products to deliver on the experiences for the customer. The API product owner also has to keep a handle on how the API team is producing API products and how they're connecting into the backend systems of the enterprise. The API product owner is often very busy and the role can be quite challenging in the context switching that is required. For example, in the morning, the product owner may be speaking with digital business leads to plan new experiences that require additional APIs in the next release. Later that morning, the product owner may be working with the Scrum Master and API Architect to manage the backlog and prioritize which stories are to be worked on in the upcoming sprints. In the afternoon, the product owner may be reviewing the results of a recent sprint and the APIs with developers and testers. In the last session of the day, the product owner is meeting with API architects and IT leadership about potential changes that need to be made downstream to systems because the targets of the back end have changed. What a day! One of the key mindset traits of product ownership is to evangelize APIs as truly products. The way the product owner drives the communication, the packaging, the documentation, and delivery of each API will heavily influence how APIs are consumed and produced. This might manifest in the form of API roadshows, hackathons, or building a really easy to use and self-service developer portal. To summarize, the role more concretely, the API product owner, or PO as often called, is responsible for the following. Defining and delivering value by making decisions for the team on what's more valuable. Defining the product backlog prioritizing the sprint backlog, defining requirements as well as the definition of ready and done, and because of the cross-functional demands, a background in product management and web-based technology is a key skill set. The API product owner has to be very involved in the day-to-day -day sprint process. However, depending on the size of the organization and the number of APIs and the maturity of the API ecosystem, this might not always be feasible or practical. It's really important for the product owner to recognize when demands from people and teams become too great for the hours a product owner has available. This self-awareness is critical since the product owner can often become a bottleneck in the process. In addition, since the API product owner also needs to network across the digital value chain for upstream and downstream stakeholders, the scope can simply be too broad to go deep with a development team. In these cases, it is essential that the product owner figures out how and where to delegate authority. One such example is in sprint refinement. In refinement sessions, elaborating use cases, writing BDD use cases, and collaborating real time with the API architect, developers, testers, and scrum masters really requires a pretty heavy focus and time. If there are multiple API teams or demands on building up the API program buy-in with business and IT leadership, this job can be very intensive. The API product owner should bring on a business analyst that can act as the proxy to the product owner. It's important that the product owner trains and transfers ownership and decision-making authority to the business analyst. The business analyst must have the authority to make design and requirement decisions. If there are certain thresholds that decisions cannot be made, those lines also need to be made clear. Looking more strategically, managing the backlog, and the overall product roadmap is also a critical activity for the product owner. However, when it comes to backlog management, the API product owner may not want to give up full authority to the business analyst. Certain priorities require 
organizational perspective to determine what should be in, a, in an API release. These decisions may have many strategic implications for the overall digital transformation and the overall API product roadmap in orchestration with upstream and downstream projects. However, when it comes to the sequence in which an API or user story should be built within a sprint or sprint by sprint, a business analyst in collaboration with a scrum master and API architect can make the decisions within the team. At the end of the sprint, the features developed should be up for a group demonstration. This is called a sprint review or a sprint demo. This demo could be to the team, to the end users like app developers, or with other interested business stakeholders and executive sponsors. There are several motivations to demo or do a review. They don't have to be all crammed into one session and multiple demos might make sense. Scrum provides a framework and guidelines, but it's up to each team with the API product owner to discuss and determine what is the right audience and outcome. The product owner should make the final decision on this one as it relates heavily to how the organization will perceive the API program. Here are some common reasons for a sprint review. These demos can be run by executing on a Postman or a Gherkin file, or create a simple web app call to show how the API can be used to illustrate a visual example. The one thing we caution against is to use the demo as a sign-off stage gate. Demos are often too short to allow any stakeholder, a product owner, or a tester to do a final acceptance. Furthermore, the time spent to orchestrate a demo and QA at the same time can be very inefficient use of the team's collective time. All testing acceptance should happen before the sprint review. If there isn't enough time, don't rush the sprint review and do it after the sprint is over. Focus on the big picture. Use the demo to garner excitement, celebrate accomplishments, and gather business feedback. Thank you. I hope this section helped you get a deeper look at the role of a product owner. It's a complex role, and each product owner we meet is different, and what you learn can be adapted and modified based on your style, context, and organization. In addition, the role can be split between multiple people owning different parts. There's not just one way. If you want more information, please check out the community for eBooks, articles, and other related topics. Thank you again for watching.